Hello students, welcome to the next lecture of support reactions. Today we are starting the numericals of the support reactions. Let us see first the steps to find support reactions. Here you can see step number one, draw simplified figure of the beam. So in the step number one, what you have to do is to draw simplified figure of the beam. Now what is simplified figure of the beam? It means you have to convert all UDL, UVL, etc. into point load. Moreover, you have to remove the supports and you have to replace only reactions at the supports. Step number two, find horizontal reactions, if any, by taking algebraic sum of horizontal forces is equal to zero. Means what we have to do in the simplified figure, if there are any horizontal forces present, then take horizontal forces algebraic sum is equal to zero. It means what? Left side forces is equal to right side forces. Just equate the left and right forces, you will get unknown horizontal reactions. We will see in the numerical, then you will be much clear about it. Step number three, take movement at the left support and you will get one vertical reaction. Now movement is the new word for you. Here it is written that moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Let us see in the numerical. By doing step number three, you will get one unknown vertical reactions. Step number four, take sum of all vertical forces equal to zero and you will get second vertical reactions. Means upward forces equal to downward forces. What you have to do? You have to take all the vertical forces present in the figure and equate algebraic sum of it to zero means upward forces is equal to downward forces. Then you will find second unknown vertical reaction. Step number five, if at any support, horizontal and vertical, both reactions are present, then find a resultant reaction and also find angle of reactions. If at any support, more than one reaction, means two reactions are present, horizontal and vertical, then you have to find a resultant reaction according to formula. Formula, we will see in the example. You also have to find angle of reaction. Now, most important thing, remember over here, step number two, if it will be cancelled, when it will be cancelled, when horizontal forces, horizontal reactions are not present in the step number two, then step number five is also cancelled because what is written in the step number five, vertical and horizontal both reactions are present then and then we have to find resultant reaction but if horizontal reaction is not present in step number two then automatically in step number five it is cancelled okay so remaining steps are one three and four only now let us see some numericals today based on step number one three and four only in today's numericals step number two and five will be cancelled out. Let us see how. Okay. Now, you can see in this example what is given. The figure is not given actually. The wordings are given. According to the wordings, we have to draw the figure at ourselves. Let us see. A simply supported beam, 8 meter span, subjected to two point loads, 50 kN and 100 kN. So, what is given? This is the beam having length 8 meter as you can see subjected to two point loads 50 kN and 100 kN at 2 meter from each support so you can see from the left support at a distance of 2 meter 50 kN load is given and from the right support at a distance 2 meter 100 kN load is given it is also subjected to uniformly distributed load means UDL of 20 kN per meter on full length so it is the UDL 20 kN per meter acting on the entire span. This is the symbol of UDL, like roof type. Okay, so this is the symbol of UDL. Find reactions at the supports. So you can see at the support A, reaction is RA, and at support B, reaction is RB. We have to find this reaction. So let us start the example now. Taking movement at the left support. Now left support is support A. So take the movement about support A, how to take the movement? According to formula, movement is equal to force into perpendicular distance. So now you can see, anti-clockwise movement 
is equal to clockwise moment such that sum of all moments must be equal to zero so always start from the right side okay always start from the right side so at the right side first force is rb it is going upwards okay so how to take moment we are taking moment at point a rb rb is going upward so just rotate this force rb about point a like this see carefully like this it is rotating in this direction okay so it will be anti clockwise direction so moment will be rb in anti clockwise direction now what is it it is the distance from point a 2 plus 4 plus 2 okay so total distance will be 8 meter from point a so moment will become rb into 8 Okay, hope you are very much clear about this. RB is going anti-clockwise and distance is eight meter. Now, what is clockwise? So, first force is fifty. It is going down. So, rotate it about point A like this. So, fifty into two, it will be hundred kilonewton into meter. So, it is clockwise moment. Similarly, this hundred, it is also going down. So, rotate about point A. 100 into 6 total distance, so it is clockwise moment. Now carefully listen how to solve the UDL. Now UDL is 20 kilonewton per meter acting on entire length means 8 meter total. So first of all multiply 20 by 8 to convert it into point load. So 20 into 8, so now it is converted into point load. Now where is the UDL? UDL is always acting at the center like this. UDL is always acting at the center like this. So total distance will be 4 meter up to point A from the point load UDL. So now it is 4 meter. By doing the simplification in your calculator, you will get RB equal to 167.5 kilonewton. So actually this is step number three. Okay. So we have skipped step number two. Means horizontal forces are not present in this case. So step number two and five are cancelled. step number 1 is simplified figure it is also it is already mentioned in this figure and step number 3 is to take moment about left support so that we will get one vertical reaction now step number 4 step number 4 means sigma v is equal to 0 it means summation of vertical forces is equal to 0 what happens now here ra and rb going upward and remaining all total load is going downward so making subject as ra total load downward minus this rb okay which we have found over here so total load will be first one 50 second one 100 and third one is 20 into 8 udl okay so first one is 50 second one is 100 Third one is 20 into 8 UDL minus RB. So RB is equal to 167.5. So total answer will be 310 minus 167.5. So RA is equal to 142.5 kilonewton. So this is the two unknown reactions which we have to find. So hope this is very simple numerical. You will clear about this. Let us see some other numerical. Okay, here you can see what is given in the data. Example three: Husband and wife are lifting 200 newton weight. Okay, so at the left side, husband is standing on the left side of the stick. In the right side, wife is standing on a stick four meter long. So total length of the stick is four meter. 200 newton is the weight which is to be lifted on their shoulders. But wife is not in a position to lift more than 80 newton weight. So what? Reaction of the wife is already given 80 newton. It will not take more than this. Find out the distance where the weight should be hung from her on stick. So we have to find out the distance. Actually, this distance x is from the husband side. So we have to find the distance of this weight, this 200 newton weight, from the wife itself. Okay. So it will be 4 minus this x. 4 minus this x. So our target is to find x first. Let us see how. Here R W is equal to given 80 newton. 
Now directly, directly performing step number four. What is step number four? Total vertical upward force equal to downward force. So here you can see upward force is R H means reaction of husband and R W means reaction of wife is equal to downward force 200. So R H is equal to 200 minus 80 equal to 120 newton by mathematical plus or minus. You can calculate in your notebook also. Now. Performing step number three. Okay, now we are going reverse as per the requirement. First of all, step number four. Then after step number three. Now in the step number three, you have to take movement at left support. Okay, here it is taken movement at right support. So both are possible. You can do anything. So left support at left support taking movement about this point. You can see in the figure about this point. So what is anti-clockwise movement? R W M two four anti clockwise movement. Okay, R W M two four. Now, what is clockwise movement? Two hundred M two X. So two hundred M two X clockwise movement. So R W is eighty newton replacing over here. You will get eighty M two four is equal to two hundred M two X. So X will be equal to one point six meter from the husband. So total distance four minus one point six is equal to two point four meter from wife. So here is the distance x equal to 1.6 meter from the husband and 2.4 meter from the wife at which the weight should be hung to balance the load. Okay, so this type of numericals are very simple numericals in which step number one, three, and four only are performed. We will see in the next lecture in which all the step, all the five steps. will have to do means horizontal inclined etc forces are also present at there so we will see it in the next example till then thank you very much goodbye student